Hey guys, it's the SPAN001 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play LEGO Star Wars 100%. Last time we started up the game, this time we begin Chapter 2 of Episode 1. As I said before, I'm probably not going to read these descriptions that often, considering you can skip them. This chapter is called Invasion of Naboo. Detailing the freaking Invasion of Naboo. It's not hard to tell at all. I was correct, you cannot skip the cutscenes in story mode. I was correct about that. Because I just tried to and I couldn't skip any cutscenes. So just keep that in mind. So, let's begin. Uh, this mission is actually kind of tough for how early in the game it is. At least for getting true Jedi in, just because there aren't a ton of studs on this mission. You do have to be kind of careful about it, and also droids will constantly come out of the woods to try to screw with you. Uh, that target over there can only be shot by a blaster character, so there's nothing we can do about that yet. It's kind of interesting, because in the second game, you don't even get a Jedi character for like three or four missions, versus in this one, you start out with a Jedi character, and you don't even get a blaster character until I think the third mission, aside from the droids, of course. I mean, I'm talking about a blaster character that can actually jump. You can get droids after the first mission, but you don't get an actual blaster character like, you know, uh, Queen Amidala or the, or other similar characters until after, I think, the third mission? I think we'll get them in the third mission is the first time we get to use them. So yeah, those things will come out of the woods constantly and try to kill you, which is quite annoying. And if you get near them, they'll obviously attack you. But sometimes... Oh, sorry, Gungan. But sometimes you can actually avoid even, you know, contact with them if you walk at a good speed or far enough away from them. So I am collecting the studs here because this is one of the few missions where I really have to interact with everything. Because it, it's pretty hard to get on this mission. At least in story mode. It's easier in free play. Actually, it's usually going to be easier in free play because having different characters allows you to access all different areas of the map. That you wouldn't be able to otherwise. Pretty much, if you constantly hit square, though, nothing's ever going to be able to hit you that easily, at least if it has blasters. So let's assemble that tree. I believe we can destroy it. Yes, we can. Screw nature! And we get a canister for screwing nature. Very good. Oh, crap. There's another really annoying section like this in Episode 3, Chapter 4, where enemies constantly keep respawning and there's like a canister you have to get for using the force on three different things is Yoda. Oh my god, that is freaking annoying. I remember that one specifically. That's also my least favorite mission of the game though, so... Luckily you don't have to worry about me complaining about my least favorite mission in the game until very late. Okay, let's kill them. Grab a few more studs. What are studs is, as Cartman and them said in an episode of South Park. That was one of my favorite episodes. That one's freaking hilarious. I think it's called proper condom usage. You can probably tell where that one was going. You can use the force on the droids as well to kill them quickly. Okay, let's overheat this droid tank thing. I actually have that Lego set. Pretty cool. So smash that or another uh, canister. Smash the entire thing and fall down here for yet another canister. Very nice. Some missions, they didn't really have much to places to put them in. Like, some missions, they are pretty well hidden. Yet, in a lot of them, they're, like, right in the... Oh, cutscene. Okay, so after that cutscene, we have now freed Jar Jar Binks. Or he is now forced to be our slave. So, what we want to do now is I believe there's a second rock here. My, I don't know if I'm. Well, actually, let's kill all these droids first. Hmm. Wow, there's like a part of a random bike here. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. 
Okay, so what you can do with Jar Jar, though, is he is one of three characters that has a really, really high jumping ability, allowing him to reach things that most characters cannot by normal jumping. So, pretty cool. He's one of three characters. I'm not going to spoil the other characters who can do things, because I don't really want to spoil this for anyone who hasn't either played the game or, for whatever reason, has not seen the movies. Well, maybe I can understand you not seeing these three, the, uh, the new trilogy of episodes one through three, but if you haven't seen the original trilogy, there's something wrong with you. I, actually, I think I know a couple people that have never seen the original, or even a Star Wars movie at all, which I think is really strange. I just find it kind of hard to believe that you could be, you know, 17 years old in the case of the people that I know and not ever seen a Star Wars movie. I just find that kind of hard to believe. Even if we didn't grow up during the Golden Age when they were actually really good and we grew up in the age of crappier ones. Uh, Jar Jar, and let me know in the comments, guys, what your favorite uh, Star Wars movies are. My personal favorite is either four or six. My dad's favorite is five, I know. Pretty much as long as you say something in the original trilogy, I will not hate you. Well, no, you have your opinions to like whichever ones you want. I just personally only like the uh, original... Ow! I personally only like the original trilogy, though. Aw, oh, crap, we lost the blue stud. That's not good. Sometimes they can actually, like, pinpoint hit you when you jump off of stuff, which is really, really annoying. The AI really isn't that smart, though, so you shouldn't have too much to worry about. Uh, what you can do here is do that, and if Jar Jar would get off of his laziness and come over here, we can jump right up for canister number five. I think there's only... I think there's only three missions in this game where you can get all the canisters on your first time through, and I believe there's one where you may not be able to get any. Okay, so we're gonna want to hit that, and we can get canister number six. This one has one of the largest number you can get in the single in your first attempt, though. You could theoretically just not even go for any of them on your first attempt, and just wait and get them all in free play. I just find it easier to do it this way, so free play doesn't end up taking as long, and I can probably not make quite as long of videos, or I can just edit or cut them a little bit or something. Uh, you go down that chute down to there, but you need a small character to do it to get that other canister. And yep, pinpoint accuracy. But we got our blue stud back, so it's really not that big a deal. Usually a few gold and silver studs won't really make a noticeable difference. They can, but they don't usually. There's only a few missions where they do, and they really only do if you die a lot. Which I'm hoping not to die too much. Alright. Jar Jar got hurt. Jar Jar doesn't have any weapons either, so he can't defend himself, which is annoying. In the second game, though, they also they also gave it to where characters that didn't have weapons could, like, slap people. I think all characters actually can do it. Uh, you need an astromech droid to go across there, though, like R2. But it's only for studs, so really there's not much of a point of it. But there is a canister, I think, right up there, is it? Hmm, I thought there was. I thought I saw one. Oh, well, I guess I was wrong. Never mind, then. I'll admit I don't know this game perfectly, but I know it probably better than any of the other LEGO games. I believe you need Dark Force to use this. No, no you don't. Never mind. I don't know why I was thinking that. Ooh, Jar Jar. This is perfect for you. Oh, no. I want Jar Jar. So now we at least will have a high jump character that we can use later on, but once again we still need a small character before we can go back really for any free play. And I prefer to go ahead and get a Dark Force character as soon as possible, just for free play. And that should be everyone we need, because we'll get blaster characters in the next mission. Triple, oh, double, well, semi-double, triple, I don't know what you call it. Triple-double, double-triple, I don't know. I should ask Marshall about that, because he knows a lot more about sports than I do, especially basketball. So anyway, uh, we can't go through there just yet. To get up there, we're instead going to have to take Jar Jar again. And come up here. As you can see, we're still running a little bit short on studs, which is kind of what I was worried about. This is the last area of the level, so I'm a little bit worried that we might not end up having enough. Like, this is one of the toughest levels, in my opinion, in the entire game for True Jedi. There are some later levels, though, that are even harder than this. Invincibility certainly helps for True Jedi, but as I said before, I'm not going to run that 
extra because that's kind of cheap. It takes all the difficulty out of the game. However, as I said before, I will run Mini Kit Detector if I get enough studs for it. Just because that really just makes it a little bit easier on my part. It makes it easier for me to remember because some of the canisters are actually pretty well hidden. Like, there are a few of them that are really, really well hidden, especially in the later games. Oh, let's go. And a canister, yay! Okay, so now that we've got that built... Oh, droids. Yeah, you're gonna have to periodically deal with these stupid little droids. Droids, 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 drugs. Oh my god, speaking of that... It was crazy, because a few days ago, a few days before this is being recorded, Literally, like, a block away from my school, police showed up at a guy's house, I guess for a drug bust. And I heard they found, like, a meth lab or something there. But the funny part was, well, not funny, really, but they found, like, a suspicious package. So they had, like, the bomb squad and all the cops and ambulances and stuff down at the house a block from our school. Yeah, we weren't even on lockdown, surprisingly. A little bit surprising we didn't get put on lockdown. And we do have eight. That's what I just want to make sure of. Oh, no. No, Obi-Wan. Just grab these last few studs here. This should be enough. Yes, just enough. And jump into the water for a cutscene. And there we go, guys. So, eight of the ten mini kit pieces, which is really good, and I know where the other two were, I believe. Yeah, I do know where the other two were. You may actually be able to glitch your way down to the one that's on the ledge that you go through with the child, or the small character. I think there's a way to glitch down there, I just don't really remember it. But it doesn't matter anyway, because we'd have to come back anyway. So look at that, eight pieces, not bad at all. So let's continue story into chapter three. And probably next video we'll finish this and hopefully chapter four. So escape from Naboo. The Gungan ruler has refused to help the people of Naboo. I can't remember what happened with them. Like I think they got driven un underwater by the people of Naboo like many years before the series. If you guys want to clarify some of the story stuff, please do so. pretty good with some of the humor. For the fact that they don't even talk, it's actually a pretty funny game. <clears throat> so this character, at the start at least, we will not be having a Force character. We have Princess Amidala and this guard. I think he has a specific name, but I don't remember. So Amidala has a blaster. She's our first blaster character, actually. And as you can see, the blaster is just a gun. It's a laser gun, which is better. So it functions exactly the same as the lightsaber for attacking just by hitting square. But it can hit from much longer ranges, but it can also be deflected by lightsaber characters that we'll fight later on, aka the bosses. I believe the bosses are the only enemies that you'll actually fight in the game with, you know, laser weapon with uh, lightsabers. Naturally, if you have seen the movies. There is a way, like if you jump high enough, you can actually hit them. So they can hit you, but they usually won't do too much to you from this range. 
So I like her blaster though because it makes a, a cool sound and it fires pretty fast. I feel like his is a little bit slower maybe. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. So this is actually a pretty fun chapter, but chapter 5 of this episode is really, really annoying. Now episode 2 is kind of cool because it's so short. Like episode 2 is really short. It even only has 5 missions, making it the only game only uh, episode of the first two games to not have six missions. It's episodes four, five, and six all did. Episodes one and three both do, but it only has five. Though that was changed in the uh, complete saga game, which I actually have for the Wii, but never beat because I was I got bored with it. So pretty much uh, that game, it did add in a sixth mission. Fourth, and it was actually uh, chasing that bounty hunter woman early on in episode two. Okay, so go ahead and hit circle on those red things, and you'll jump up. So the main disadvantage to a blaster character, though, is that you can't deflect laser shots, which is why playing as a Jedi or a Sith that has a lightsaber makes the game quite a bit easier at times. So nothing really in here that we can do. Also, this game did not have the build function that you could see in the later LEGO games, pretty much all of them for that matter. You can hit that badly made thing of Amidala if you want for no reason. Okay, let's jump back up. Ascension gun again, and we are closer to the top. Okay, those orange droids can take two hits. I don't know if I mentioned that before or not. I can't remember what that statue is, though. I wish I could have seen it, but I blew it up too quickly. For a second, like, I didn't think you could get out of that. Okay, uh, let's see if we can, can we hit the upper glass maybe, please? Extra studs, please? Nope, okay, screw you. Blast that. All right, I think that when we get to this door, that'll probably be enough for this video. We're running kind of long on this video. So as you can see, it's kind of harder to avoid stuff as a blaster character. I think they also had like a dodge feature enabled in the other games. You can jump down there if you want some extra studs, but it's not really worth it. Oh, hello, droid. Jerk. Let's grab these studs. Okay, we're almost halfway to true Jedi. This isn't one of the tougher true Jedis in the game, luckily, as long as you don't die a lot. So that's a pretty good place to stop. So next time we will continue on through episode one, chapter three, and hopefully chapter four. See you guys then.